In this video, you're going to learn the complete history of gymnasiums and how they went from this to this over the span of almost 3,000 years. The first record of a building for people to train their body at is called the Zuharne, which I probably said wrong, but it means house of strength. These were made in Persia, which is modern day Iran, and date back at least several hundred AD. The Zuharne was a domed building with an octagon center for people to train sports in, like wrestling and boxing, and they also did strength training, using a variety of equipment such as these clubs called meals. They bench pressed shields and used weight to mimic using a bow, and did other body weight exercises. Soldiers usually trained here, and it was also used for dance rituals. Moving on to where the origin of the word gymnasium came from, 6th century BC Greece. Greek men would train naked here for sports that they did in the Olympics like wrestling, boxing, disc and javelin throwing, and more. They used the earliest version of dumbbells, medicine balls, and other equipment for explosive plyometric training and to sculpt their body. These training areas were made up of mostly open space that sometimes had trees to provide shade for the athletes, and unfortunately no air conditioning. Philosophers such as Plato and Aristotle taught in these gyms to try and teach men to improve their minds as well as their body. The Greeks have been conquered by the Roman Empire 150 years before, and Rome copied their training along with a bunch of other stuff. Gyms were added to Roman bathing areas for people to work out at. Public gyms became unnecessary during the Middle Ages because everyone was doing a bunch of physical labor or sword fighting. More gyms started to emerge in Germany during the early 1800s that practiced the earliest version of gymnastics. These were founded by Frederick Ludwig Jahn to train a group of boys from a school in Berlin. These originally were done outside but then moved indoors to a location called the Gymnastic Hall where they made a lot of gymnastic equipment that is still in use today such as rings, bars, the pommel horse, and more. French strongman and gymnast Hippolyte Triat opened a lot of gyms in Europe. Unlike all the previous gyms that only allowed people of high social status or athletes to train there, Triat opened his gym up to the public for a price. They used dumbbells, barbells, clubs, and gymnastic equipment to work out, and this was also used as a source of entertainment for the public to watch and perform feats of strength and skill. In 1844, businessman and Christian Sir George Williams founded the first Young Men's Christian Association, YMCA in London, England. He did this to serve as a place for young men to play sports, train weights and gymnastics, and to minister to them. Williams founded over 45 buildings in Europe and also helped to start the first gym in America, which started in Boston. This gym was made in 1851 by a retired sea captain. YMCA spread through the US over the next 10 years with almost 200 establishments. Robert J. Roberts was a man who worked for the YMCA in Boston for 40 years, and he coined the term bodybuilding. Roberts greatly influenced public gyms by installing mats, mirrors, the first indoor running track, and finally showers. During the 1930s in America, gyms dedicated to boxing became more prevalent. And in 1939, Jack LaLanne opened up the first health club in Oakland, California. He also designed the first leg extension machine, cable machines, Smith machine, and more. Using his fitness show on TV called The Jack LaLanne Show, he popularized exercise in both men and women. More public gyms started to open up in America during the 1960s including the first Gold's Gym on Venice Beach, California. Gym owner and bodybuilder Leo Stern created more gym machines such as leg curls, calf raises, leg presses, and more. Another bodybuilder named Harold Zinken invented the first universal weight machine, and the weight could be selected quickly by using a pin. These became a commonly used piece of equipment in almost every gym. Building off of Zinken's work, an inventor named Arthur Jones founded the company Nautilus Machines. These machines made their way in almost every gym, ranging from school gyms to athletic training centers. More gyms started opening due to the popularity of bodybuilding, which was made more well-known by people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferringo, and Franco Colombo. In 1973, the first 24-hour and LA Fitness opened. And in 1992, Planet Fitness was founded by Mark and Michael Grondale. This is what the person who founded Planet Fitness looks like. They did this with the goal of having a judgment-free zone for ordinary people to get fit. Now there are 2,400 of them, which makes it the largest gym in America. And in 2000, the first CrossFit gym was created in Santa Cruz, California. From 2000 till today, we've seen a higher increase in gyms than ever before. Now we are still seeing better equipment pop up in gyms, thanks to companies like Rogue and Atlantis. And who knows, maybe in the future, we'll have gyms in the metaverse. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.